Well, Addie, every year we have to get our physical for school and other sports activities. So we're getting that done today. Well, I better get some good toys out of this because I could be at home watching YouTube. So true. Well, girls, I wouldn't count on getting toys at the doctor's office. All right, I have Addie's Mayo next. Are you guys? Yeah. Perfect, come this way. So what brings you to the toy doctor today? Oh, you know, the usual things for an annual physical, weight, height, shots. Oh, um, well, okay, let's see. I see here, Maya, you're scheduled for your four-year well check. You're four years old, right? Perfect. And, Abby, you have your seven-year well check today, is that right? Perfect. You know what? I'm going to do each girl individually. So why don't you and Addie step out and I'll work with Maya first. Sounds good. Come on, Addie. All right, Miss Maya, let's start by seeing how much you weigh. I'm going to log that on my physical exam sheet right here. So step down here and I'm going to have you step right onto the scale. Okay, it looks like you weigh 212 LOL surprises. Huh? I thought I weighed 40 pounds. Oh, of course not. Don't be silly. We only calculate weight in LOL surprises now for our four-year-olds. Does that mean I get 212 LOL surprises? <gasps> well, I'm afraid I don't have 212 LOL surprises in stock, but I'll tell you what, I'll give you one to take home. Here you go, Maya. Thank you, Toy Doctor. Oh, you're welcome. Now we gotta figure out how tall you are. Let me get my tape measure and we'll see exactly how tall this little girl is. Here we go. All right, Maya, let's see how tall you are. Seen up nice and straight for me. Let's see. Wow. Oh, yeah, you have grown a full fingerling since your last exam. What fingerling? Oh, you've grown a full Bella. You know the pink one? She's one of my favorites. Does that mean I did a Bella fingerling? Oh, no, I'm afraid not, dear. You know those fingerlings are impossible to find. They are sold out at every toy medicine pharmacy in town. Oh, bummer. Oh, don't worry, Maya. Let me see what else is required at our four-year exam here. Let's see, we did height, we did weight, oh, and eye exam. We wanna make sure that vision is super sharp. So let's see, let's have you come sit right up here, and we're gonna test those eyes out. My eyes are perfect. All right, well, let's check that out. I'm gonna have you cover your left eye first, okay? And we're gonna look over there at our chart and start seeing what you can see. Line four says L. P-E-D. Oh, it does, but you know what? Letter schmetters. Who cares about letters you can see? I'm more concerned about your num num sight. So I'm gonna put this up here and we're gonna test your num num vision. We'll put that right there. There we go. Let's try line four again. Lemon pop, sugar jelly, pineapple jelly, CC puffs, and bubbly puffs. And what's the last one? Priscilla piece. Wow, that eye's looking great. Let's switch eyes now. Let's try the bottom row with this eye. Okay, this will be tough. CC gloss up, mellow berry gloss up, berry vanilla gloss up. All right, Maya, you have perfect vision in both of your eyes, so I'll go ahead and take this. I'm gonna put that you passed your vision test with full eye and colors. Let's see what else we have. Oh, it looks like you do need a vaccine at your four-year checkup. That's not a fancy word for a shot, is it? Oh, don't be silly, Maya. Remember, I'm the toy doctor. There's no shots, no yucky medicine, no surgeries, none of that nonsense at my office. Why? We only give toys. So I happen to have the best toy for this vaccine. It has been tested and proven in so many medical studies. Let me just grab the right vaccine here. Um, no, not the monster mash, and that's the flu shot. Uh, pick me pops, no, that's chicken pox vaccine. Oh, this is what I want right here, our Shopkins World Vacation. This will be the perfect vaccine for your four-year well check. So, all you have to do is open this up and you'll be fully vaccinated. There you go, Maya. I can't wait to see. Oh, I just love those little yellow bags. That's always an exciting sight to see. Oh, wow. Is that ice cream? Yeah. What's the next one? Oh, a little plant. Is that a plant? Yeah. Oh, look, my. this is Boney Bonsai from the Japanese Journey. And you have May Sunday down here from Chinese Travelers. Wow, I love them. 
I do too, and you know what? You are fully vaccinated now. Now let me get back to my clipboard and see what else we need to do for your four year visit. I know there's some other really important things here. Let's see, we got the height, weight, eye test, vaccination. Oh, it looks like I need to make sure you are on track developmentally with your fine motor skills. What does that mean? Oh, let me tell you, I need to make sure you have those fine motor skills with your fingers down, and I have found that the best way to test that with four year olds is to make sure you can successfully arrange some num nums in a collector's case. Are you up for the challenge? Absolutely I am. All right, so you hold this for me and I'm going to go over here and get our whole container of num nums. And I want to see you properly put these in without having any difficulties with your fine motor skills. I'm gonna dump these out for you. Whoa, Whoa. lots of num nums, Whoa. Whoa, that's a lot of num nums. It sure is, and I think there's some surprises surprise. inside. We've got stickers. Wow, to help you correctly label your num noms. And a blind one, too. Let's open it up and see what's inside. I'm super, super, duper excited. <gasps> wow, mm. that one is super glittery. It, wow, it smells delicious. Now, when you take this home, Maya, you can use the labels, the tags, and you can set it up so that each num nom is in the correct category. But right now, to see your fine motor skills. I'd like to see you correctly put them all nicely in place. So let's see what you can do, Maya. This one's cuter. Am I doing a good job? You're doing great. Keep up the hard work. I love the placement for the num noms. Your motor skills are looking fantabulous. Let's see if you can finish it off though. First roll complete. All done, Toy Doctor. Perfect, that was done in record time and excellent fine motor skills. You know what, Maya? I think your checkup is all done. We're gonna pack this up and you can take this home with you. Don't forget your LOL doll and your Shopkins too. And you can head on out to the waiting room. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Maya. You have a lot to leave with, don't you? Yeah. Whoa. My check job's done. Wow, so cool. I'm not so sure about all these toys. I don't know what that's all about. All right, as you can see, Maya's exam is all done. How did it go today? Oh, well, it went wonderful. I have her chart right here. Let's see. Well, it looks like she weighs 212 LL surprises. She grew a whole fingerling. Her um, num num vision is just fantastic. Let's see, she got her Shopkins vaccine, and her fine motor skills are great with the num num. So she is doing fabulously. I have a report for you, you if you'd serious? like to submit it to the school. Okay. Yeah, of course. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Are you sure a school's gonna accept this type of physical report? <laughs> well, of course, you know, I am a toy doctor. I'm not your traditional doctor. And there have been study after study after study that has shown that toy medicine is really way more advanced than that old school medicine. So, yes, it will do just wonders. And now, Addy, it's time for your physical. So, come this way, dear. Nice to see you, Maya. All right, Addy, are you ready for your seven year well check? Uh huh. Okay, perfect. Now, the first thing I have to do here is take your height and weight down. So, when you come over here, let's see how much you weigh first. We can step on the scale. Okay, oh, it looks like you weigh 17 Love of Bella dolls. What do you mean? Do you mean pounds or something? Oh no, let's not be silly, Addy. We don't weigh in pounds anymore. For seven year olds, we only weigh in Love of Bella dolls, and it looks like you weigh 17, which is just fabulous. Does that mean I get 17 Love of Bella dolls? Oh, you and your sister think like you do not get 17 Love of Bella dolls, unfortunately, but you know what? I do have one of the boys down here. Would you like that? Perfect, when you take this, oh, but you know what? I need to get your height first. So step over here. We'll set this right here. Let me get my tape measure and we'll see exactly how tall you are. Oh, I know I've grown this year. Oh, I'm sure you have. Let's see by how much. Let's see, oh, you know what? Let me look at your chart here. You have grown two whole mashems since your last birthday exam. What, two mashems or two inches? Oh, two mashems. You know, mashems are actually a little bit more than an inch. So two mashems, not two inches. You know what? You can have the two mashems you grew if you'd like. I think you grew one Pac-Man mashem and one of these, um, let's see, Spider-Man mashem. So you can have those. Awesome. All right, well, let's continue on with the exam. So I'm gonna scoot this over here, come back up onto the table for me. 
And I'm gonna listen to your heartbeat first. Let me see my stethoscope. All right, I'm gonna have you breathe in and out so you can listen to your lungs and your heart at the same time. Ready? Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Very nice. We do the back now. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. I'm pretty sure I heard a hatch and giggling in there. Or was it a finger leak? Well, I guess it could be either one. I love them both. Okay, well I'll make note of that. Possible hatch mold, possible fingerling noises inside the chest. Perfect. All right, let me just check your eyes, nose, and ears real quickly. Look right here. Oh, it looks good. Looks good. Oh, perfect up there. Well, perfect up there. Let me check the ear now. Oh, you have an ear infection. Did you know that? It doesn't include any yucky medicine, does it? Addy, how many times do I have to tell you I'm the toy doctor, I do not give yucky medicine, I only give toys and I have the perfect toy to cure this ear infection. Yes. This DC Superhero Girls is the perfect cure for a nasty ear infection. Is that the Batgirl one? It sure is with 206 pieces. Now if you open this and start building, you should have automatic immediate relief. Now I'll let you finish the whole thing at home, but let you go ahead and get started so we can at least get that ear infection cleared up before you leave. Mm -hmm. I think it's easiest to open right here. There you go. 206 pieces. I can build all that in no time. I'm sure you can. I've heard you're a, le you're a Lego expert. All right, how's the ear feeling? Is it better yet? A little. Let me check it real quickly. So you take this. Let me get my ear tool out. Let's see. Oh, well, you know what? It already looks better. So tell you what. You take this home and build it. Just the unboxing really cured it. This, this medicine is just wonderful. It just works immediately. And we better continue on with your exam. All right, let's see, we did height, weight, check the lungs, the heart, the ears, the nose, the mouth. Okay, I do have to make sure you are developmentally on track for a seven-year-old. And it does say here that seven-year-olds should be Hatchimal experts. What do you mean by that? Well, you know, Hatchimals have eyes that change colors and a fully on track seven year old should be able to correctly identify the Hatchimals needs according to its eye color and a seven year old should be able to successfully meet those needs. That sounds a little tough, but I think I could do it. Well, I happen to have a golden Hatchimal right over here. <gasps> is that the one from Walmart? It sure is. Is that the one I saw Tic Tac Toy Family unbox? Did you see that video where they unboxed it? Uh -huh. That was a pretty cool video. It happens to be that exact one. It's the rare golden links. I'm so excited. All right, well, I'm going to grab our golden links, turn it on, and I'm going to see if you can correctly identify what need our Hatchimal has based on its eye color. Okay. His eyes are light blue. You're right. What does that mean, Addy? It's cold. You got it. Make it feel better, quick. Oh, it's nice and warm now and happy. I just have to squeeze this belly to warm up. It's yellow, that means it's happy now. That's right, yellow eyes are a great sign. You're doing great, Addy. It's red, that means it's mad. Uh-oh, you better make it happy quick. I just pet the head to make it better. Pet that head quick, let's see if those eyes turn colors. Oh, it's a change. Oh, perfect. The eyes are happy again. Good work, Addy. I'm gonna give you good marks on red eyes, too. Red eyes, check. Its eyes are green. What do you do, Addy? It's sick. I better squeeze his belly. That's right. You have a sick hatch and we'll squeeze the belly. See if you can make it better. Oh, you did a nice job with green eyes, too. Let me mark that off now. Green eyes, check. Oh, it's blue. That means it's cold. A cold hatch mold again. Warm it up. I have to rub its head and squeeze its belly. Oh, did you get it? Mm -hmm. Its eyes are yellow again. It means you have a happy Hatchimal. You know what, Addy? Mm -hmm. I think you've passed this test with flying colors. Yes, does that mean I gotta keep it? Well, you know these golden Hatchimals are super rare, but I suppose so. Yay! I want the box, too. It is a rare and special box and Hatchimal. Did you see that it came in a gold, speckly, metallic egg, too? Uh-huh. Yep, that video on Tic Tac Toy Family was pretty cool. All right, I'm looking through my chart now for your exam. You know what? It looks like you're done. You don't need a single vaccination for your seventh year physical. Oh, uh, man, I was really hoping for one. 
I know we do have some pretty fun vaccinations here at the Toy Doctor, but the good news is you're leaving with a Golden Links Hatchimal, a Little Bella doll, Legos, and two Bastions. Can't beat this checkup. You're right. <laughs> all right, well let me help you carry it all on out. And I think you're done, girl. Out the waiting room. Best doctor visit ever. All right, yes, Addie's exam is all complete. So let me see here. She did great. Good. She didn't need any vaccinations. Height and weight are good. Um, let's see, she did have an ear infection. Oh, sounds painful. Oh, you know, it's doing pretty well. Okay. Do I need to pick up any medicine for that? Oh, no. You don't need medicine at the toy doctor. She already opened a Lego toy, and she is just fine now. Toy, huh? Are you sure that works? Yeah, kind of a toy doctor. Trust you. Remember toy medicine, way more advanced than that old school stuff. So she's good. All right, well, thank you. I, I really wish I had a doctor like you when I was growing up. You kids ready to go? Yeah. All Daddy, right. can we get another physical tomorrow? Another physical? Well, maybe next year. Maybe we'll get the pneumonia next time. Have you subscribed to Tic Tac Toy yet? If not, what's holding you back? It's absolutely free. Go ahead and click on that button in the corner of your screen, and then you won't miss any of our future videos. Thanks for watching.